rambling with rosé, but this isn't rosé. Writerly rambles with Riesling. Right time to wine. Get it? Whatever I call this, I like play on words and alliteration. Hello and welcome to The Right Mama. And tonight we are casually chatting or rambling or talking. I don't know. I'm just sitting here casually talking today with wine because my girls are asleep and I thought I would kind of continue this month's kind of vibe of videos, which was very chatty and casual. I didn't do really much of like any advice or suggestions videos, I feel, because I've been very much into Preptober this year. And I think I have to blame um, my one year on AuthorTube because I'm really excited. A little bit nervous. I did just fill out Project X on the NaNoWriMo website. And I put in 50,000 words. Now, I am right now at about like 16, 17,000 words. So I'm kind of cheating, but I don't ever get 50,000 words in. I was kind of aiming toward 30,000 this year. However, did my NaNoWriMo survival kit video and I started saying 30, 35, 36, 30, you know, I realized maybe I can do more. I'm going to try to hit 50,000 words. And that's huge for me because like I said, I've done NaNoWriMo for probably a decade in that I just focused on my writing a little bit more every November. I didn't do the 50,000 word challenge, but I did NaNoWriMo in that I made writing more of a priority during the month of November. Oh, I'm jumping on the bus. I hate counting words. I hate word count. I'm a math person at all. This time around, I might focus and try to get to 50,000 words. I can do part of my writerly rambling for today is just me admitting excitedly that I'm going to push for 50,000 words. And I have a bunch of live streams that I've scheduled. I'm also going to kick my butt super early on Mondays and get up. Accountability. Excited to focus on Project X and jump into it and maybe get to 50,000 words because I don't know how long this book will be. A lot of my books have been like in the 80-ish thousand word area. I think that age is about 86,000 words right now after two rounds of edits and the books before them about around that, that, that size. So if I get to 50,000, I could finish this book by the end of 2020 to try this. And this is partially for accountability. It's partially just for me to show those who maybe are the rebels also, or those who aren't, don't want to focus on a number that it's also okay if you don't hit it. Nothing is going to happen to you are your own worst enemy. And if you don't hit the number, you don't hit it. But also know that you have a ton of people in this community that are here to support you through live streams, through social media. Right now, we can't really meet out in the community. But if you do have a friend who is a writer, if there are places you can safely get to, meet up with them. They can help you be accountable. This is my way of keeping myself accountable. And I'm just freaking excited to jump into this book. Here watching, is it Pumpkin Wars? I think. And has anybody else wondered when they record Pumpkin Wars and the great Halloween Bake Off and all these shows that I'm ridiculously addicted to right now, when do they record them? Because no one's wearing masks. So what'll happen next year? Comment below. I want to know. Stairs because, well, one of my girls started crying and I brought my laptop up because I need to do work. Just wanted to talk a little bit about I'm still not comfortable. Random video ever. I'm very motivated. So I guess when I feel motivated, I'm just super scatterbrained. Fine. A little bit about author too. Just 
because I have been on here for a year and I've learned a lot from being, putting yourself out there in this way. If you're questioning doing this, just do it. Just do it. You don't need any fancy, you know, camera or lighting or any background or whatever. You don't need it. I use my phone and I adjust the lights. I took like two of the lights and my ceiling out of the thing. So it's shining one on me and it's still not great light. So you can kind of find a way to make it work. And if you're not sure what your topics are going to be or what you want to others that inspire you and kind of build off of the topics that they use. In a way, a lot of author tubers or book tubers or people in this, this realm, um, they, they talk about similar things because they have different outlooks on them and different experience. So they can put different input into a topic. So you can kind of take a topic in a way, as long as you don't give the exact same answers and not credit the person. It would be, don't jump in and give all advice because I have learned that even though, yes, if you have the experience and the knowledge, a lot of people want vlogs. I never ever thought that I'd come in and record myself painting my nails. I didn't do a very good job. And thinking I'd hyperlapse video myself at coffee shops and writing, I never thought those things. But if you do like this, this niche, this niche, this realm, um, vlogs are something that a lot of people like. I've learned which advice videos are negative. I love to do advice videos, especially on things that I feel confident about, but only do those kind of videos if you feel confident about the content you're talking about. But we'll go with it from this last year is that this community is very supportive. There are so many people out there who will work with you, will talk to you about their experience, will help you out if you need a little support when it comes to maybe editing a video or, you know, asking a question, get involved on the social media platforms, follow people that inspire you for your videos, um, comment, make sure you interact with people, but just know that this community is super supportive and it's really nice, like I said in my last video, to be involved in a community that does get you because we're a little weird. Writers are odd. Let's we'll say there are clicks. There are definitely author tube clicks and I think no matter what situation you're in, no matter what activity you take part in, whether it's a YouTube activity or an extracurricular activity when they're more open, there'll be clicks because we're humans. And when humans connect on a certain level with somebody in a certain way, they're going to click. <laughs> and it happens no matter where you are. But don't let that take you down because you'll find your your group. You'll find your people. And really the author to commune to NaNoWriMo this year, I don't think I would be as inspired and motivated for NaNoWriMo if it wasn't for this community, if it wasn't for me getting involved in AuthorTube a year ago. Because one, I was, you know, it was almost NaNoWriMo last year and I had just gotten an email um, from the small press that that age is with asking me for if I wanted to sign the contract. So right at the beginning of when I was starting AuthorTube and starting NaNoWriMo, my brain was very scattered. So I couldn't focus that much last year and I wasn't obviously going for 50,000 whatsoever, um, but my focus wasn't there. So jumping into the AuthorTube world was hard because I was super excited about getting this contract. In fact, we're still only in the editing parts of that age, but stay tuned for more. to jump into this new book. Yes, my current book that's under contract with a small press is kind of been slow this year, but I'm ready to jump into this story and ready to critique it and edit it and have other people, you know, critique it and edit it and really just see where it's going to go because I need to focus on that right now. I need to focus on a positive and this story is such a positive. Streams and getting involved more in the community. Um, is going to definitely help me hone in on what's important. Hone. Hone. It's a weird word. That it's a little weird explaining to people who are not writers 
or not even people on social media platforms very much who aren't as social media savvy what you do on YouTube, what AuthorTube is. It's really awkward. That is something that we learned and I still don't usually know what to tell people besides go check it out. Go check my Instagram. It's a writing community and if you're a writer, you get it. So it is definitely a little awkward sometimes to explain what I do, but I'm proud of what I do because I love this community. And I think that those who fully understand your passion for writing will understand, you know, the connection and the importance of having this community. Build your, build your followers, build your fans for those who want to support you, for ARC readers, for people who are out there to, to shout from the hills that your book is out. So it's nice to have a team behind you who is so excited for your book. Video at the bookshelf because I always started here. <laughs> is disappointment and I know it's not a great topic to end a video on but you appointment happens sometimes life gets in the way of your goals and life gets in the way of the achievements that you really want to kick butt in like NaNoWriMo or finding a publisher or finding a way to self-publish your book and in 2020 a lot of those things may have either been stalled or canceled or just completely pushed aside because of maybe budget or family issues or personal things or health. So realize that if you set a goal for yourself and you don't hit it, for example, if I don't hit that 50,000, I'm going to be okay because I know that this is a huge thing for me, even though it's really, what, like 45,000-ish? That's me. I'm okay. But I'm putting this here now that I'm going to try my best. But it's also good not to make yourself too upset and not to fall into a pit of full on disappointment and depression if you don't get exactly what you were aiming for. Because this is fun. You're writing because it's fun. So, you know, disappointment happens, but, you know, be upset, drink a glass of wine, you know, eat that bowl of ice cream, and then move forward and keep writing. Because if you sit in a pile of disappointment for too long, you're never going to get up. It wasn't too sad a note to end on. I appreciate you guys kind of following me around on my random night of just painting my nails, drinking wine, and chatting. I do have to do a little work, and I want to work on my outline a little bit more before this weekend hits. So if you like this kind of casual content, comment below. And also help me out about the whole pumpkin wars thing. When do they record that stuff? Make sure to subscribe below hit the thumbs up button i post this kind of stuff every friday look out for tons of live streams you can follow me on my instagram i'm putting updates on my stories all the time so thank you very much stay creative and uh-oh drink the wine but most of all drink the coffee <laughs>